Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys an updated video of like my curly hair must have slash favorite products, like a type of video like that. By the way, I have no product in my hair. Um, I deep conditioned and then I put some oil in it. But that's it. So I'm gonna start off with like um, primers for your hair, like leave-in conditioner, stuff like that. Then go to stylers and then go to finishers. So I just wanted to mention that I'm not going in any particular order. These are just like all products I freaking love. There is really no order here. So the first product is by Rizos Curls and it's the Refresh and Detangle Spray. If you have problems detangling your hair, I de this is like the best detangler I've ever used other than deep conditioners and stuff. I consider this a leave-in because you don't rinse it out after you use it. You just spray it on your hair, detangle your hair. You can even use it as a refresher. I use it as a refresher too. At first when you spray it, it might seem like it comes out thick, but it doesn't at all. It mixes really smooth and like disappears. My next top favorite primer is from Briani, the leave-in conditioner. They came out with a moisture milk. Um, I have yet to try it. I do have it though, but I, I have to try it. But this leave-in conditioner is the true. It's not too thick, but for my hair, it can be used as a styler too. It does not weigh my hair down at all. I can have a heavy hand with this deep, um, deep conditioner. This leave-in conditioner and it won't make a difference on my hair. Like my hair does not get weighed down by this. It's not greasy at all, which I freaking love. And um, yeah, it's just awesome and it smells great. The smell for this and the resource curls is not strong at all and I love that. Like it smells natural. It doesn't smell like perfumey. I don't really like perfumey smells. My next leave-in slash primer is from Weedad, the whipped curls. Um, this is not Curly Girl Method approved by the way, but I still use it. I don't use it every day, I don't use it every week, but um, this is it really works well with my hair. It's super lightweight, it smells freaking amazing. Um, it kind of pours out, kind of like frosting. The product is thick, but it's not thick on your hair and it's not heavy on your hair at all. This is a this is used as a primer just to prime your hair and protect your curls from the outside environment and all that. Um, but I love how this mixes with other products. It also can be used on its own and it's really great. So for my stylers, the first styler I have is from Diva Curl, the Super Stretch. Um, this is amazing. I can always use this by itself. I usually don't use a gel when I even use this because it does hold my hair pretty well. It's like a styling cream but thicker, like a thick styling cream and I was surprised because usually thick styling creams do not work well in my hair at all but this one is just amazing because it's a thick styling cream but it's lightweight. And as you can see all these products I use are super lightweight. I'm sure I'm sick. I know, I have to get my medicine later. So yeah, this definitely defines my hair. Um, my hair can last like four days with this. I would probably use it with a leave-in, but I don't really need a gel for this. My next styler that I fell in love with is from Not Your Mother's. Um, this styler is awesome and it's super affordable. This is a mousse. I missed having a mousse. I said that in my Not Your Mother's video. If you haven't seen it, then you should watch it. But I definitely recommend this. This mousse was awesome and it gave my hair a beautiful shine and it was not sticky either. And I love that because I hate sticky hair. I would say if you have thicker hair that needs a better hold, this isn't for you. But my hair is super lightweight. This is my hair with no products. So as you can see, like, um, it doesn't really need that much of a huge hold like I don't need the strongest gel or the strongest mousse so this works really well for me. Next is the Frizz Control Gel from Briagio. So this gel saved my wash day. Um, I use their other, I use, I use their curl defining cream and my hair just wasn't having it. I think it was a bit thick for my hair. I'm not really sure what the problem was. 
but this gel fixed it. This gel is not like any other gel that I've tried. Um, when I feel it on my hands, it does not feel sticky at all. It feels like it would be drying on your hair, honestly. Like the gel feels like it would dry up your hair or make your hair feel like kind of brittle, but it didn't at all. It made my hair... It made my hair feel amazing and added amazing shine to my hair. Next is my Bounce Curl Gel. I can use this every single day for the rest of my life and I'll be fine. Um, this gel is super amazing, super lightweight, and super defining for my hair. I love it. I have nothing bad to say about the gel. Um, I would say to not have a heavy hand on it because if, if you do have a heavy hand, it might feel a little sticky. But other than that, it's awesome. Um, I really don't have anything bad to say about the gel. I love it and I recommend it for anybody and everybody. So lastly, for my finishing oils, the first one I have is from Weedad, the Mongongo oil. Um, this oil is expensive as hell. <laughs> Um, I know it's not in everybody's price range, but it does last. I've had it for a couple months, and as you can see, it lasts. It smells, oh, it smells like so good. I this mm, delicious. delicious. Um, this oil smells amazing, and it works really well. I do recommend it, but I know it's not in everybody's price range. That's kind of the downfall of it. Okay. Next is from Diva Curl, the Set It Free. They have a bigger size than this, but this lasts me like, all you need is like, tsk, 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 you know, like a couple spritz, nothing crazy, and it works really well. Um, this is to shine and finish, so to add shine in your hair and some hold. Lastly is from Bumble and Bumble. This is what, this oil is the only thing I have in my hair right now, and you can see the amazing shine, like, Bro. So I definitely recommend this oil. I wouldn't have a heavy hand with this oil because it seems super lightweight, but it's a teeny bit thick. Um, I wouldn't do more than two sprays for your whole hair. My hair, my whole hair had two sprays, and it was fine. And the same with the Weed Add Mongongo oil. Two sprays does you justice. So guys, those are my favorite products of this year so far. I, what the hell? I do have more products to try in my stash that I haven't gotten to yet, but I'm going to get to them and I will keep you guys updated. But these products are products that I love and they work really well for me consistently. It's not like I use them once and that's it. Like these are products that I always go back to. All these products were Curly Girl Method approved except the Weed Dad Whip Curls. And if you follow the Curly Girl Method, then just don't use that. Don't be in the comments hating because I use it. But other than that, like I said, they're all Curly Girl Method approved. They all work amazing on my hair. Hopefully they work well on yours too. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and share the video with your moms, your grandmas, cousins, boyfriends, girlfriends, whoever. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.